Uh-oh. We're using Blackout 2 to light a music video, but we don't want to manually hit the cues because we still got to do today's Wordle. You can do this a handful of ways, but here's how I'm doing it right now. I've got Blackout 2 on an iPad being fed MIDI from Logic Pro on a MacBook. To do this, I have one MIDI interface hooked up to the iPad and another hooked up to the MacBook. They kiss inside of a C-Dream 5-pin DIN to 5-pin DIN extension cable, semicolon MIDI 5-pin DIN female to MIDI 5-pin DIN female extension cable. Damn. In Logic Pro, I create a blank MIDI instrument and use the external instrument plugin to route MIDI out through the interface. I load my audio track into the project and adjust the tempo to fit the track. Now, I've arbitrarily chosen the note C3 to be my trigger, so anytime I want Blackout to move to the next look, I'll have Logic play a C3. I already know where I want them, so I'm just gonna drop them in. Now I have to tell Blackout to listen for MIDI. I tap Link Status, Connect MIDI Devices, then I select my MIDI interface, and now we're connected. If I click MIDI Learn, everything that glows yellow can be controlled by MIDI. If I tap the Next Look button, Blackout will begin listening for a MIDI signal, and the next note it hears will be assigned to the Next Look button. I start the track in Logic, and once we get to our first C3, the highlighted button in Blackout changes to indicate the note was received. And that's it. Now we have fully automated the next look feature so we can sit back and enjoy the show or focus on more important things. <laughs>